In this tutorial, we are looking at our ticker. So let's open up my playlist number one. And let's just add a ticker to this slide number one. Open up my plugins. I will choose the ticker. Let's move it down here. Now, first of all, when you add a plugin, like I just added the ticker, you have all your settings on the right side. So the settings tab up here will change depending on what plugin you actually click. So the options that we have for the ticker is a general alignment. We have our fonts. You can choose whatever font, custom fonts, make it bold, change the color and so forth. You can change the font size and you can change the speed and the speed being how fast does the text scroll from the one side of the screen to the other side of the screen. You can also change the direction. Does it scroll from left to right or does it scroll from right to left? And finally, you have the layering buttons, whereas you can define if the ticker is supposed to be on top of everything or maybe below something. So in my case, we can just very quickly change it to something that fits with our layout. It doesn't matter where you put it, but usually you would center it on your slide. And then I think I will go with a slow speed and my direction is going from the left side to the right side. That's it. You can, of course, add multiple tickers on your slides if you want to. Keep in mind that the ticker is kind of resource demanding. So if you're having a ticker that's not smoothly running from one side to the other, that will mean that the player is simply not strong enough to pull it off.